friends, welcome to our Tinkercad Circus Tutorials. My name is Dr. Erica, and in this video we are building on our police card that we have been working that is controlled by the Arduino Uno. So if you've always wanted to make some Arduino Uno projects, this is a great starting point. We have our lights and our siren wired up already. We can see how that looks. We've got the lights that switch from red to blue, and we have a siren that has a high and a low tone. Now it's not quite even because you'll notice Tinkercad's having a hard time simulating it. So time is sort of stretching out here, not quite like it normally is. It has to take a moment to reset. But that's okay because in real life it won't do that and it will be a lot of fun. So a police car isn't really a police car if we can't let it move. So let's get this police car moving. If we search our components, we can look for a motor. And you'll notice there's a few different types of motor. There's a vibrating motor, which is sort of what makes your cell phones vibrate. That's not really gonna make us roll forward. We could use the DC motor or the hobby gear, um, the hobby gear motor. I really like the hobby gear motors. They work really, really well. Um, they're usually very in tune with each other, so that sort of is nice. If one goes forward, they all go forward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this so that it sort of looks like this would be the axle. And what we'll do is we're gonna end up, as you build this, you will put this underneath your breadboard and you'll have a wheel that sticks on here and we'll make a few of these so that our car can move. All right, I'm gonna scroll out a little bit so we have a little bit more space to look at. I am gonna put our motor pieces over here so that it's just we have a little bit more space to see. All right, so these guys have a positive and a negative. If you hook them up backwards, that's okay. It just means it'll turn counterclockwise instead of clockwise. So it'll change the way that these turn for us. So I'm gonna hook my negative into ground right here, and we'll color that black, just like all the other things that have gone into ground are colored black. And my positive is what I'm going to control with the Arduino Uno. All right, so I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna use the Uno to tell it when to turn this on or off. Let's pick a color we haven't used yet. Let's do green for our motors. Green is kind of like for go, which is great. So now, if I go over into my code, let's move this over a little bit, I can rotate on a servo pin. All right, and this is a servo right here. So I can rotate, my servo is on pin five. So if I follow this green line all the way back, it tells me it's on pin five right there. And I can tell it how far to rotate. Now, how much I rotate with each half a second increment is gonna sort of tell me how fast my car is going. So let's say I say rotate 180 degrees. I can put that here and I can do the same thing down here and I can rotate another 180 degrees. All right, and we can play this if we'd like to, and we can see that it's going to move. So you can tell you the revolutions per minute here. So it's sort of moving, not super happy all of the time though, all right? So we're sort of going quickly and then coming to a stop. So if I wanted to rotate certain amounts all of the time, which if I could even sort of independently do each wheel so you could let you do turning. But if I just want it to go forward, what we can do instead of rotating us the servo motor by a certain amount, I could just turn the servo motor on. All right, so I could use my set pin and I could set pin five to high and that's going to turn it on and it will be on that whole time. I'm gonna take out our piezo buzzer for right now. And so as we turn this on, it's rotating with a constant 51 revolutions per minute. All right, that's beautiful. And what we're gonna do is we want to add more than one wheel. I don't think this is gonna work super great with one wheel. If you wanted building wise, you could put this in the middle and have some axles that go off and this could drive two wheels. Or if you have lots of hobby motors, we could just use four motors. So we can copy and paste this motor. We could do four motors, two in the front and two in the back. So here I'm going to connect my negative to the negative rail, and you'll notice though, this negative rail is not hooked up to anything. 
And the way I can fix that is I can connect the negative rails together like that. All right, now I want these guys to drive at the same time. So I really want them all to go into pin five. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna put this instead into one of these pins here. And we'll color it green like it was green before. And now this pin is gonna go into pin five. Well, let's see, let's put it going straight up. I'll put it going up with this, just so it looks a little prettier. So we're still going into pin five, but now I come in here and I can connect to this positive also. We'll come up this way. Like this. So now this one, these are both connected to pin five. All right, so I can start my simulation and now both of these are moving. So it tells me how quickly it's moving right there. So now we need some back wheels. So again, I can copy and paste. Now you could put your back wheels exactly the same as the front, but you'll have this stuff sort of sticking out of your breadboard, which you might not like. So we can rotate it and we can wire it up like this. I'm gonna give us a little bit more space. Let's move this all out over here. And we can move these pieces back out just to give us a little bit extra space. If you ever wanna modify the way that your wires are looking, you can click on the wire and all these little dots you're able to pull over, which is really quite nice. So you can have some really good organized wiring. All right, so this motor is sort of gonna go right here. I'm gonna put this one higher so that you guys can see all of the wiring. And then we're gonna have another one down below. All right, now you can imagine, if I connect these the exact same way, I'm gonna have these two wheels going forward or towards this little sort of yellow piece right here. That's the direction they go. They're gonna, two wheels are gonna go that way, but these two wheels are also gonna go that way. So I want these two wheels to run in reverse. And the easy way I can do that is I just flip my lead. So instead of the normal, I'm gonna connect my positive to ground. And then I'm gonna connect my negative into my Arduino, just like that. All right, and that is gonna let me be really sneaky about it. And I will be able to drive them in reverse. All right, and we'll notice that when it comes up, those will be negative RPMs. So I have minus 17 and plus 17 RPMs. You'll notice as we added more motors, they spin a little slower because this can only drive so much. If we wanted it to be faster, we could hook these up into their own pins and that should fix that for us. But right now we just have a lot of load on there. But when we start it, we're gonna start rotating these and it's gonna start, our car will start going to the right. And then you can hot glue these to the bottom of your breadboard and you can walk around. You'll have a tail because you're connected to the computer unless you upload the program to your Uno and then have a battery pack, which is another way to do that. This is a really fun little police car circuit. That will be a ton of fun. We can hook back our siren back in. You guys can see all of that stuff and we have a really fun project that really built on itself. We'll have a few more of these projects that you keep going as you learn more and more. Thank you so much for joining us and make sure you check us out at patreon.com slash rosyresearch and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye friends.